Hey there folks, Cross Lux and Broken Ideas, welcoming you back to our Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series. Today is a special episode, as we are opening the last, the final, that's the same thing, pack of the GX era. And that, of course, is Light of Destruction, one of my favorite booster packs of all time. I love Honest as the cover card on this set. This card is great. Uh, the pack as a whole is great. There are so many good cards in this set, and I pulled a pretty good one right off the bat. It is for a new archetype that's introduced this set, but uh, I guess I should go ahead and mention Light of Destruction is most famous for the introduction of one of the most powerful archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. It's a light theme strategy, and of course I am talking about Arcana Force. Look at this. Arcana Force 18. I think that's 18. The moon. When it's summoned, you get to flip a coin. How many times do you get to flip a coin in Yu-Gi-Oh? Not many. And for good reason. Alright. Jokes aside, I yeah, the Light Sworn archetype is really, really good. I, once again, like with the Gladiator Beasts, was very tempted. Uh, to opening the the archetype package for Light Sworn rather than actually opening a box of Light of Destruction. But there are a few generic cards in this set that once again I couldn't pass up on. Summon Limit right now is one of those cards. It's a good floodgate, generic. You know how I feel about floodgates. They're uh they're very healthy for the game. <laughs> okay. Um, but besides possibly pulling some Light Sworn stuff for a Chaos Strategy in the future, there is support for two of my favorite archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. That is the Frogs and Battery Men. So this is the set where Battery Men get bonkers from the OTK side of things. Oh yeah, Industrial Strength and a Short Circuit in the same pack no less, plus a Quick Charger. Wow! And a portable battery pack. This was the Battery Man pack. Nice. I will take that for sure. No complaints there. <laughs> back, to, back to back industrial strength. Oh man. Pays to have that car battery, doesn't it? I'm having a lot of fun opening this set. Dark Valkyria, a Gemini monster. You know how we feel about those around here. But despite being a Gemini, its effect is pretty decent. It's just a slower breaker than Magical Warrior. Magical Exemplar is a very good card for those spell counter based strategies, but since we don't really have the Spellcaster Structure deck, the Endymion one, I'm not even sure if that's released yet. I think that was early to mid Synchro era, so that's something to consider in the future possibly. Aw, oh, whoa. Gladiator Beast Gazeris. I'm gonna have to watch out for this card. If Broken Ideas is still on that Gladiator Beast strategy, then if she pulls this, that's going to be devastating, because, wow, Gyseris is only super rare? I thought for sure it was a secret rare like Heraklinos. I mean, Gyseris is the card that really pushed Gladiator Beast into top tier status back in the day, so I'm surprised that was only a super rare. So far, I haven't really found much else since uh, those few good opening packs. Kind of just been tooling along here, opening a few packs as I go. Not really pulling anything special. Nothing really standing out for me. Simorg, Bird of Ancestry. That's a good wind monster support. Uh, broken ran harpy ladies in the past, so that would be a good card for that deck. I'm getting a lot of wetlands, but where is the substitute? That card is banned and will forever be banned, unless they errata it to be a once per turn sort of situation. Uh, Volcanic Queen's not bad. It's like a lesser lava golem, pretty much a precursor to kaijus from modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Tribute over a problematic monster? 2500 attack is pretty big at this point in the game, so Volcanic Queen can be hard to deal with, but for certain boss monsters, I'd give them a queen rather than deal with those things. Alright, coming up on the last three packs here, I don't think I've pulled a secret rare yet or any of the really good, like, hidden cards. Well. I pulled an ultimate rare, but uh, a fairly useless one. Is that my first micro cell? You're kidding me. I think that's my first micro cell. This card's a common, and I definitely need the playset if I want to do a battery man strategy. 
Oof. All right. Well, let's see how we do. Maybe I just overlooked them. Deck, deck lockdown. Now that is a floodgate for gladiator beasts if I've ever seen one. I don't want to be that guy that runs deck lockdown. But then again, broken ideas is running shadow imprisoning mirror. So you know what? Deck lockdown's a pretty good side deck card in my opinion. Here's the last pack. What do we get? Uh, that wasn't much, was it? Nope. A uh, whole bunch of garbage. Wow, no monsters. Just spells and traps. Would you look at that? All right. Well, that is it for the opening. Gonna scroll through and see exactly what I got here. I'm looking for micro cells. Uh, did we get any? I got the industrial strengths too. Where's the battery charger? I'm looking for battery man charger. I don't even recall seeing any of those. Are you kidding me? No, don't tell me I didn't pull any of that. I'm gonna get two industrial strengths and the short circuits, but I'm not gonna get the chargers. Wow, that is like, that's horrendous. I can't believe that. I pulled one microcell and no chargers. They're both commons. I am so sad. Light of destruction, come on, I hyped you up so well. Why did you treat me like this? Mm. Well, it is what it is. I do have a couple pity points now. I might end up spending them in, over the next few episodes to try and get some of these, but only if I can really make a deck work with it. <sighs> Bummer. I'm not really sure what I'm going to run for today's episode then, but uh, we'll, we'll see what I'm working with. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Alright, big surprise here folks, we're bringing Dark World back. I know I've ran this deck for a couple episodes recently, but it's definitely the best deck I've got, and right now I need to be bringing my A game, because Broken Ideas deck is very devastating and should not be underestimated. One of the weaknesses I discovered about my deck in the last episode is the power ceiling is not quite there. Gold and Silva are 2300 attack monsters. If I'm lucky and I can drop Nephthys, she's 24. So that's pretty low, all things considered. And if you really want to get technical, I suppose Dasher can hit 3100 by tributing another monster. But that's rather resource intensive. So when it comes to battle power, even though I can swarm the field a lot, which can end games quickly on an open board, but if Broken has a well-established board already, without some sort of field wipe, like a dark hole or something like that, my deck is going to struggle to break through the Gladiator Beast, especially once she has that Colosseum out and they're all boosted. So I needed to add some sort of battle protection. So I threw in my singular copy of Hatebuster, which is kind of sort of like a Ring of Destruction, sort of. And uh, of course, Broken Idea's favorite trap card, Triple Bark of Dark Ruler. This does put my deck size up to 46, which is awfully large. I don't really want to see it that high, especially since even though I do have a lot of draw power in the deck, I still don't want the deck size to be that high because it still cuts down on the ratios. I just I don't know what to take out. All these cards are really instrumental to the strategy of the deck, so maybe I just need to fiddle around with it this episode and figure out what I used and what I won't be using in the future. So I'm going to kind of leave it like that. The side deck's pretty much the same, I believe. I don't think I actually changed anything. But hopefully this will be what I need to continue my win streak. That being said, let's go ahead and cut on over and see what Broken Ideas has got cooking up today. Hey everybody! You may have noticed that I did not open any packs today. And the reason why? Most of this deck, I really wanted to be able to run Light Sworn, and I did not have any confidence that I would pull, oh, I don't know, Raiko or um, Judgment Dragon. So I went with the Surefire thing. Yeah, I don't get as many copies as I potentially could have gotten from the packs, but again, I had zero confidence I would anything decent let alone enough copies so I, I'm happy with this this is fine to make up for not having three for three of a lot of stuff I kind of turned it into a Twilight deck 
We got mostly light, we got some dark, we got some chaos emperor and sorcerer if we really can't bring out judgment dragon. Not a lot of traps, mostly stuff if good light swarms end up in the grave and we need to fix it or you know ditching cards so that we can get cards back to our hand. Like I don't know if we accidentally mill judgment dragon that would be pretty bad. Basically, the traps are to either bring stuff back that we need back that shouldn't have been milled, or this one to basically try to turn the tide if I can't do anything. <laughs> the side deck is mostly for if I really just cannot deal with any darks in the future. Yeah, that shuts a couple of my monsters down, but if I really need it, it's here. Obviously my main goal is I would like to get Judgment Dragon or one of the Chaoses out. Celestia is good for if Crossflux has a nice back row that we don't want him to have or too many monsters. Garroth is beefy. Jane is beefy against monsters. Wolf is cool if we mill him. Aaron doesn't care about face down monsters. Lila doesn't care about spells and traps. Lumina brings stuff back. Spells are mostly to wipe fields or get stuff or draw stuff. That's about it for the most part. And that's the deck. The nice Twilight deck. Hoping it's good. Hoping that the Twilight theme makes up for not having a ton of light sworn but still more light sworn than I'm sure we would have pulled naturally from PAX. So, I'll take it. It's fine. I'm satisfied. I uh, just gotta see if it wins. Well, 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 broken ideas. Will the light of destruction finally snuff out the darkness that is my deck? I would like it. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Someone's got to take these fiends down. They're practically unstoppable. No! But I think you're the duelist for the job. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna try first. Go first. Okay. Uh, I wonder if those gladiator beasts are going to continue their onslaught. I'm going to set a card and pass. Okay, that's probably Hoplomus. What do I... Alright, well, I'm gonna start with a Confiscation. Let me take a peek at what you're working with here. No. Well, I was wrong. This is not Gladiator Beast, this is something devastating. Alright, but Confiscation let me discard any card from your hand, so I don't... No, if I necessarily want to put one of your monsters, I think I'm just going to get rid of one of your power spells, so get rid of the Heavy Storm. That's fine. Alright, I'm going to follow that up with a Pot of Greed. Okay. And then I'm going to activate my favorite spell. Mm, three? No. Four, okay. <laughs> Dang, I should have done four. I did four. stuff out of order, but that's okay. I can live with that. I will normal summon a snipe hunter. So no. if, if you're running Jane, you're no. probably on light swarms in general, which means that could be a Raikou. So I'm going to dis. <laughs> I am going to discard a card from my hand. I'll get rid of this brow, and I'll try and snipe that before it can flip. Uh, uh, it doesn't uh, work. Okay. Ooh. Do I risk doing it again? It's like that gambling mentality. Like, you know, how you gotcha just games. Attack it and see. I could, but if I attack it, then I flip it. And I don't want to flip it. So let me just do it again. I'll get rid of Khaki this time. Uh, what happened? <laughs> no, know. they're exceed summoning. Alright, how do I fix this? Okay, you got a two, so you win. Okay. 
Uh, while I fix my board, you can send the... It was Sangin. Sangin? Oh, man, I got outplayed. Oh, snipe v snipe. Yeah. I call in a hit and you get a higher assassin of your own. But I'm going to go ahead and press some damage while I have the chance. And I will opt not to use bronze effect. I'm not going to discard anything. I've already discarded two cards this turn. I think that's more than enough. Okay, I'm going to play Solar Recharge. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of Jane. I'm going to get you some new cards. And then I draw two cards. Mm-hmm. And then I mill two cards. Yep. Ah! Oh, the sad. Ah! You're not just light sworn, you're twilight sworn. Hmm. Mm. Snipe. Snipe. Okay, I'm going to send that and then try to get rid of Brawn. Brawn. Okay. Brawn! Yeah, yeah. Yay! And now I'm going to crash the snipes. Ooh, you're going to crash. I know you normally don't like doing that. I don't like doing that, but I want to not let you have snipe and I don't want to discard anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, set and pass. Setting two cards. I wonder what those could be. Well, it's not gonna matter because I can't do anything. Your turn. Okay, I'm gonna activate Glorious Illusion. There it is. Alright, so who are you bringing back? Uh, Jane? Okay. Another Glorious Illusion. Yeah, the second one too? Okay. And then I guess I'll bring back Lila since she's the only other one. Lila! Summon Witch. And the normal summon. And all will attack directly. Okay, so I'll take 11 from the Witch, I'll take 18 from Jane, and then 17 from Lila. Yeah. Hurting. Yeah. Alright. End phase, so I have to mill four cards, right? Okay, so Lila will mill you three by yourself. Okay. One. Two. Ah! Oh. Three. Three. Okay. And then Jane will mill you two. One. Two. Alright. And then both of your Glorious Illusions will mill you two each. That's gonna be another four. One. Two. Three. Four. Dang, you got a lot of boss monsters, huh? No. And then I milled all of them. Yeah. Well, you do get another monster on board. One of those cards was a wolf. So, oh, the wolf. Yeah, if he's sent from deck to grave by an effect, special summon it. Okay. And then All right, it's I a guess lot for that's me to deal with. My turn. All right. Well, I guess it's a good thing I have dark color. Let's do a little clean up here. Okay. At least this way you won't deck out. No, but you were about to be dead. I wasn't gonna have to worry mm -hmm. about that. True. But you also don't have to worry about anything else for me, that's all I got. I just had some damage control. Also, uh, your witch would have netted you a search before you would have drawn. Oh, shoot. You can just put the card back and then search your deck. And, and then I draw for turn. Yeah, draw for turn. Uh, you picked up Lumina, so I think that's probably game. Play Lumina. Mm-hmm. And uh, use her effect. Discard something and then revive a level four. So like, Jane. I don't think it really matters. I don't think it matters what I discard at this point. Mm -hmm. Discard. Aaron. And then get. I don't think it matters what I bring it out. It doesn't. Jane, I guess. All right, going to battle phase battle and attack for game. And attack. Okay, I did not expect to win since I milled all my bosses. Yeah. That's, uh, that's the power of It seems of like I win when I don't get my bosses and I lose when I get my bosses. Maybe I just shouldn't care about bosses. Yeah, just make a really consistent deck. Alright, well let's go again. Hopefully I'll be able to draw into something that I can use this time. My Dark World deck has been really bricky lately. I don't know why. 
Okay, well, uh, I'm not sure if I want to let you go first, because that could let you set up some milling early, so I will opt to go first. Okay. Okay, it's a, it's a start. I'm going to activate Pot of Greed. Okay. And then I'm going to follow that up with a Dark World Dealings. So we'll both draw one and discard one. The card I'm discarding is gold, so he's going to special summon himself. Okay. Draw. Alright, discard. Okay. I will... Uh, we have Heavy Storm, so I don't want to set too much. Right, I will set two cards and throw it over. Okay. I set a card. I think that's it. I don't like the looks of that. Okay, draw for turn. I don't think there's really anything I can do except uh, attack. Alright, two grave. Arcus. Okay. Does well. his um, effect work if he was face down? Uh, it wouldn't, but it's not like they were being targeted by anything, so. No, I was just, I was, I didn't know. Yeah, if he's face down, his effect's not active. So. I didn't think so. Alright, I guess that's it. Okay. Uh, I'll play a little conservatively. Ooh. Okay, I think I actually have something cool I can do. Monster Reborn. Something cool. Monster Reborn is um, a good card. On uh, him. Arcus. And then, uh, tribute him. Tributing? What? Greganeth? Celestia. Celestia. Well, mm. first you had Twilight Sparkle, now you got Celestia. You just go on MLP on me. Well, uh, I mean, that is fine. Okay, so you tributed her with the Light Sworn. She's like a monarch. You can destroy two cards and mill four. Yeah, I'm going to destroy both of your back uh, cards. Unfortunately, neither of them are chainable. Bark of Dark Ruler oh. and Call of the Haunted. Okay. Alright, oh and then gosh. go ahead and mill your four. One, two, three, four. Okay. I don't like doing that. Mm. Um, okay, and now... I can banish. Uh, I don't like one the sound of light, that. One dark. One light and one dark. Uh, which one? Okay, yeah, it's just sorcerer. a sorcerer. I mean, he's still a problem here, mm -hmm. but I can still use him to get rid of gold. All right, so you can use his effect to banish. Go, yeah, get rid of gold. Okay. And now I can attack for twenty-three hundred each. Well, Chaos Sorcerer gives up his attack. Oh, I'm sorry. Effect, but well, it's still 123. Never mind then, but I, it's still 23. Mm -hmm. And then I end my turn. Alright. I would hope so after a play like that. Uh, once again, I've got some cleanup duty though. I gotta clean up that duty. Well, it's always when I finally set something up. Yeah. Alright, I'm literally just gonna throw down some cards, and hopefully Mirage and Nightmare will draw me what I need. So during your standby phase, I will draw three. Mystical Space Typhoon on... I don't know, I guess Mirage and Nightmare? Mirage and Nightmare, are you gonna let me keep those cards? Oh, well, I mean, you're gonna get more if you keep it out on the field, True. so... Alright, so it's... No longer a nightmare. The um, nightmare is over. Set to card and pass. Okay. Draw for turn. I guess I've kind of got to play. I might just need to take advantage while I can. So I'm going to do Graceful Charity and draw three more. Mm. And I will pitch a gold from hand. And I don't know, I guess which? It's a tough call, but I really don't want to lose anything else. So gold was discarded, which means I will special him. I will flip summon my brawn. Mm. Or brow, excuse me. They have very similar names. Um there's not Bro. Yeah, bro. Because he's a bow user. Could be. 
They're also named after colors, so I think uh, he's supposed to be brown. Yeah. All right. Well, there's not much I can do. I don't know what defense level I gotta worry about with your deck, because I really don't know what all you're running. So I'll be safe and attack with the bigger one first. Okay. Uh, flip. Night assailants. So, all right. What are you uh, destroying? Gold. Gold. Well, that still frees up Brow for a direct attack for 14. Uh, main two, I will set a card of my own and pass it. I'm going to set a card. And end. Okay. Do I have the on the ropes? Alright, I'll start with the Dark World dealing, so we'll draw and discard. I'm gonna get rid of the dasher I just drew. Okay, then get rid of that. Card destruction. Yeah, that's probably not a good card no, against me. No, no, I don't want you to have that. Okay, I have three dark monsters in my grave, so I can banish two of them. I have not been summoning this card properly in the past, so let me rectify that. Banish two of them to special summon my dark Neptus from hand. No, I'm still trying to cheat you. So she just goes straight to the grave, and then next turn she'll come out okay. into play. Okay. Okay. Uh, now what? There's still not much I can do. Uh, yeah, I really can't press the advantage, so I'm just gonna wall up and hope I can do something better next turn. Let's activate Pot of Greed. One. I didn't give you that, two. did I? Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna set a card. I'm gonna flip summon. Ah, uh, I should have used get my back effect. Mystic Re Monster Reborn. Yeah, it's a good one to get back. Monster Reborn on Chaos. Okay, yeah, he was summoned properly. Still got normal summon, so here's do. Snipe. Okay, I'm scared that that back row is Bark, so I'm going to get rid of this and roll to get rid of it. Okay. Oh no! Oh my goodness, dueling book. Oh, okay. That sucks. Well, you still have some attacks <sighs> at your disposal. Okay, I guess what I'm gonna do is Snipe will attack Brow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he dies. And Chaos will attack the face down. Okay, it was a Night Assailant. Oh. So I'm gonna use his effect to destroy, I guess, the Chaos Sorcerer. He's the biggest threat. Mm -hmm. And so then well, you were gonna him directly for three. Mm -hmm. Bonk. Well, you were gonna get rid of the next turn with that chick anyway. My chicken. Yeah. Alright, draw for turn. Uh, standby phase. Now my black chicken comes into play. Mm. She's properly seasoned with that pepper. Mm -hmm. So she was special summoned, I get to destroy a spell or trap. So oh, right. Dang it. I'll get rid of that. Uh, for my normal summon, I'll do Armageddon Knight and use mm. his effect to mill out uh, another dasher. As I usually do. And battle phase. So Nephthys over Snipe Hunter for okay. 900 damage. Nine. And then another 11 for the follow up attack. And it's your move. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess I end turn. Ooh, pass. Yeah. Alright, uh, how much do I have on board? I only have 40... Oh, I have 48 on board. Okay, yeah, that's enough then. So 14 and mm -hmm. 24. Oh, man. Going to game three. Well, I have 800 oh, left. Oh, you have 800 left. Oh, 38. Duh, I can't do math. So, okay, yeah, actually, you are still alive. Yeah. All right, well, uh... It's not gonna matter, but I am. Well, maybe. Main two, then, I will painful choice, just to... Oh, can't you stop bullying me? Haven't I been bullied enough? 
you're playing Light Sworn, okay? If you drop a Judgment Dragon, that's gonna just change things. So I'm I never to, gonna drop a Judgment Dragon. I, I got need to be two as Light Sworn. As possible. I got two Light Sworn in my in my grave, and I have 800 life points. Uh, sorry, reasoning should not be going to my hand, unless that's the card you want me to add. So my painful choices were reasoning, brawn, cyber dragon, and two silvas. Cyber. Okay. Two hand. All right, that's all I've got. So it's your turn. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to heavy right. storm. Uh, bummer. It's another bark. I knew it. <laughs> it's always bark. I knew it. I'm going to summon Gara. Gara. I'm going to attack the Armageddon Knight. Okay, so that's 450. Mm-hmm. Cleared one threat. And I don't survive. Okay. Well, you'll survive, assuming I don't have another monster to summon. You do. I'm sure you do. You have five cards in hand. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, actually I do. I almost didn't see it. Don't know why, but yeah, I've got Monster Reborn. Okay, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll just bring something back and attack over for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I've got nothing. Okay. What was that last card in hand? Judgment Dragon. Yeah, okay. I figured. I had him since turn one. Wow. Yeah, for some reason, you didn't really seem to have a lot of Light Sworn in your grave. No. <laughs> Bummer. I didn't. All right, well, we're going to game three. It's anyone's match. So, uh, a lot of people okay. consider the hardest choice ever to be your starter Pokemon. I say, are you going first or second? I'm mm, first, because I won first. when I went first. Mm. First is the burst. Okie dokie. All right, lay it on me. What you got? Okay, first I'm gonna do solar recharge. So it's a strong do... start. It's a hard, hard decision, but I'm gonna do Celestia. Ooh. And then I send two cards. Uh, Luna. One Luna coming out then. Two. All right, you draw the two first, and then you mail the two. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll just draw these two. Okay. Sorry. That's Don't okay. look at them. Don't look at them. But. You're showing them to me on screen no, right I'm now. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You can look away. Okay. Shush. All right. Now I'm not. Milling. Now I'm mill. Mill two. Oh, jeez. Right. Well, you got light and dark in the grave already, so I've got to be wary of those sorcerers. Okay, and then I'm going to. Okay, I uh, set a card, uh, and I'm going to end turn. Okay, after drawing two, you're still just gonna set one. Alright, well, I'm not gonna forget to use this effect this time, Cyber Dragon. Uh, but believe it or not, I think that's the only summon I've got. So, I'll just attack. Flip! Evolution Burst? Oh, the Raiko. Okay. Yep, so he's dead, and then what, you know, three? I yeah. think I will, I think I have to. Yeah. One, two, three. Ooh, uh. is that the Judgment Dragon? Oh, crap, it's a wolf. Yeah, so he gets summoned. So, though. yeah, he gets summoned. Raiko evolved into wolf. <laughs> all right, Big well, wolfy all boy. I did was I gave you a better monster. So, I guess I will set a card and throw it over. That was nice. I won't last. That's so nice. Alright, I'm going to set. I'm going to set. Okay, okay actually, I'm sorry. I meant to just play this. Because you have that. MST. Okay. Yeah. Uh, guess what it is. Just guess. Bark. Yeah. <laughs> More like a wimp or a this dark ruler. <laughs> Why I'm not allowing you to have Yelp. a back row. Yelp well of well. Dark Ruler. Uh, I didn't normal summon yet, so... Jane. Jane. Okay. So, attack so and 18 attack. 18 and... 21. 21. And I think that's it. Okay. I think that's it. I enjoyed it while it lasted. Because yep. I'm sure you're about to ruin my day. 
Yeah, he was. <laughs> it's always, it's it's always been all the dark three call. Games. This this card this has is been glued all three to my, games. Yes, this card is glued to my hand for some reason. Uh, Alright, so I'll normal summon brawn. And I'll proceed to battle phase. Uh, Alright, uh, going for a direct attack. I activate glorious illusion. Bummer. I'm gonna bring out Celestia. Okay, yeah, she uh, doesn't have any special not summon a limit. blocking. It just says light swarm. Alright, well, I will recall my attack and go to main phase, and I will set a card. No! No, you won't! <laughs> Your no. turn. Grr. No, you can't! Grr. <laughs> Rumble. Okay. Dang it! Do I just settle for a sorcerer because I don't have Judgment Dragon, but then if I pull him, I don't have four in my graveyard? I don't know what to do. Frick! I hate this! Oh, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna banish. And then, uh... I don't know which one to pick. Dang it, it sucks. Banish. I'm showing you my teeth. Put him out. Yeah. I banish the monster. I'm showing Brum. my teeth. No. Showing my teeth. No, you're banishing. Go get out. Okay, now I'm gonna attack for 23. 23, no normal summon. Mm, well, oh, I didn't normal summon, did I? Frick, I couldn't. <laughs> uh, if my math is correct, you would need an 1800 attack monster for it to matter. I don't. So, just the 23 then? Yeah, just the 23. Oh look, your math was correct. Main phase 2, I'll use my normal summon to just set this and end. Alright, end phase, your illusion will mill you too. Okay. One. There's another light two. swarm, okay. so your judgment dragon's back online. Phew. Uh, Assuming I don't mill him. That was the worst possible draw. All right, I will set. Mm. Sounds like you're not working with much over there. Maybe it's my time to shine with light of destruction. Okay, Summon witch. Ah, you've triggered nothing. Celestia will try to attack the face down. Okay. Okay. Um, it did if that. I show my teeth, I can pay 1,700 life points and reduce your monster to 600, and then you can still clear it. Okay. I want you to be able to overkill me as much wow. as possible. I d wow, I won. Yeah. I won the match. You won. How did Who I knew? Win the match? Light beats darkness. Light has shown itself in Banish the stupid bark. Mm -hmm. I won! <laughs> you a ween. A winner is you. I don't know how I won. You have chortles like Fawful. Uh, ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Or like Mandark. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Alright, good job. I knew you'd do it eventually. I don't know. Maybe I screwed up my deck somehow. Just no. lately, my dark worlds. Have the mistake not been drawn. was bark. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of using the barks because I kept running into battle issues against your gladiator beasts, and I needed a way to beat them in battle. You thought for some reason I went back to them? Well, I thought for sure you'd go back to them because they were a strong deck. I wasn't sure if you would have been able to pull enough I've light sworn cards. Fig well, one, I figured you'd think I went back. I guess I didn't think. I think you can think! Because I lost. So, that was part of the reason I didn't. Also, I was using them for several episodes in a row and I didn't want it to get stale. Yeah, that's true. But, I just wish my Dark World would actually operate properly. I've got so many draw cards, but I just can't seem to discard as often as I would like to. Either I get my discard cards like Dark World Dealing and Graceful Charity when I have no Dark Worlds in hand, or I have all the Dark World cards and then no way to discard them, so they're just bricks in my hand like a monarch. 
And I it's just... like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. It was working pretty <laughs> well there for a while. I know. It really was. It was working too well. Mm-hmm. I just keep drawing Judgment Dragon when I don't have Light Sworn in my grave, and then I don't draw him when I have Light Sworn in my grave. Yeah, you mill him out. So did you pull him, or did you just go for the package? I went for the package. Yeah, I really thing. wanted Judgment Dragon, and that, I, that was the only way I was going to get him. Yeah, he was a secret rare, I think. Yeah. yeah so that's probably worth it. I, looking back... It doesn't matter how much I treat a pack with love and respect. It's just gonna do me dirty. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. Why would it why would it care if you treat it with love and respect? I got nothing from Light of Destruction. I would have been much better off just grabbing either a light sworn package of my own. Or looking back in hindsight, I should have just grabbed a battery man package. Because I really wanted the battery man cards. I know, they're, that's they're one all, of your favorites. They're all like commons. But I pulled one common microcell. Mm. I didn't pull any chargers. I, I did get, I think it was two copies of Industrial Strength, but it's not like it matters if I don't have any of the other cards. You need all the cards for that to work. So, yeah, I, hindsight's twenty twenty, of course, but I really wish I had just gotten, like, a Battery Man package. The only other cards from Light of Destruction that I really would have wanted were, like, Summon Limit as a Floodgate. But one, floodgates are cheap and mean. I'm probably not going to use it too much anyways. And yeah, I think that was about it. I didn't pull any of the good secrets like Guardian of Order or Honest or anything like that. I just I just keep pulling garbage with the good packs. And then the bad packs, you I pull, pull as, as good as, as you possible. Can, yeah. yeah. It's just like, why? What is this? Nintendo, what is this aiming? My uncle works at Konami, and he's going to get all of you in trouble for getting me bad packs. Well, congrats on your win. Yeah, uh, I will I'll take, take the it while points. I can. I'll yeah, always I definitely take it while can I can. use some of these. But, uh, wow, that's weird to think. That was the last pack of the GX era. Finally. So, uh, like earlier in the series, we are going to do a special end of GX era video that will go up in between now and uh, mm, the Duelist Genesis. 5Ds. Yeah. So before we go into 5Ds and the Synchro era, we will have that special video for you. You mean like the era the I like the one, most. Like with the last one, the duels that we do in that video are not going to count on the scoreboard. It's purely for fun. Uh, we are still going to do opening up uh, reprint packs. So it gives us a chance to get a few of the staple cards that we might have missed earlier in the series. But instead of dueling each other for fun like we did last time, I think we're going to mix it up and we're going to introduce a friend on the channel. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get some fresh blood in here and hopefully have some new challenges that we haven't seen before. Yeah. So I hope you guys are interested in that and we'll stay tuned. All right. And until have then, a blessed day. have a blessed day.